Mutterschutz, maternity leave. If you would translate Mutterschutz, it would actually mean Mutter, Mother and Schutz, protection. So in Germany, we have a special protection in place for all pregnant and breastfeeding employees. You do get a total of 14 weeks of maternity leave, which is split into six weeks before the birth of your child and eight weeks after the birth of your child. So this time frame is based on the expected date of birth that is calculated by the midwife or the doctor. Now what to do if your child is not born on the expected date of birth? Because this is something that happens really, really often, right? If your child is born before the expected date of birth, you will still get the total of 14 weeks maternity leave. So the extra days that you have not taken before the date of birth of your child are added at the end of your maternity leave, summing up to 14 weeks in total. If your child is born after the expected date of birth, then you will still get the total of eight weeks after the date of birth of your child, meaning that you get extra days added to your maternity leave and that you will have more than 14 weeks in total. There are some exceptions in place where you get a longer maternity leave of 18 weeks in total. So that is the case if your child is born prematurely or if your child has disabilities or if you are having twins, for instance. Some employees also want to waive or reduce their maternity leave. So this is possible before the birth of your child, but there is an absolute ban of employment after the birth of your child that's in place to protect the mother and the child. So you are not allowed to work um, during this period of eight weeks after the birth of your child. While you're on maternity leave, you will continue to get salary, but the calculation base is a bit different. So you're entitled to maternity benefits. If you have public health insurance, then your health insurance pays up to 13 euros per day. So this is a bit confusing. Um, so 13 euros for each day of your maternity leave. And this is paid directly to you. So you have to apply for it with your public health insurance. This amount of up to 13 euros is deducted from your net salary by your employer and the employer pays the remaining net salary meaning that you will get salary payments from two different organizations, your employer and your health insurance. That's why it's really important to inform your health insurance in advance and apply for these maternity benefits. Otherwise, you will end up with a lower salary. The net salary that's paid to you by your employer is calculated based on the average net income of the three months before your maternity leave. And for this, bonus payments, for instance, are not taken into account. So it may happen that you will have a lower salary than before. So all of this sounds a bit confusing, right? With the 13 euros and then the extra calculation by your employer. Because with the employers here, you usually have an agreement for a monthly salary and you often don't calculate your daily income. But there are also salary calculators available for this online because as I said, there are some differences and it's up to 13 euros that's being paid by the health insurance. So for instance, if you're working in a mini job or a part-time job, the setup may be slightly different. So just remember, Remember that you have to apply for these maternity benefits separately with your health insurance. To do this, you have to hand in a certificate by your doctor stating the expected date of birth of your child. You don't have to hand in an application for the continued salary payment with your employer, but you have to inform your employer about the expected date of birth. So make sure that you also provide this information to your employer. This also means that your employer will automatically deduct the 13 euros from your net salary and do this calculation of the average net salary, even if your health insurance does not pay you maternity benefits. This is for instance, the case if you have a private health insurance. Private health insurances usually don't pay these maternity benefits, meaning that the 13 euros per day will still be deducted from your salary, but you will not get these benefits compensated by your health insurance. That's why a lot of people having private health insurance sign up for a daily sickness allowance, in German Krankentagegeld. Uh, so this is a daily amount that you will get by the private health insurance in case you fall sick or if you are on maternity leave. For these kind of allowances, you usually have a kind of waiting period in place until this allowance kicks in. So very often it only kicks in after four or six weeks, depending on the agreement you have with your health insurance provider. If you have private health insurance, you can also apply for a one-time payment of 210 euros. This is paid by the Federal Social Security Office and I'm going to link this for you here in the comments. 
There are also other aspects of maternity protection here in Germany. So not just a maternity leave, but also an extra protection against health risks, for instance. So your employer has to ensure that you and your baby are not exposed to any health risks at work. That's why doctors, for instance, are often suspended from their work the minute they announce their pregnancy because of the high risk of infection when working with patients. And sometimes they are moved to an office job instead. So that depends a bit on the employer. In addition, there is a special protection against dismissal here in Germany. So from the announcement of the pregnancy until four months after delivery of the baby, there is a special protection in place protecting the employee against dismissal, meaning that it's very, very difficult for the employer to terminate the work contract during this time. Apart from maternity leave, there are also a lot of parental benefits in place here in Germany. So after maternity leave, you can take parental leave and you can also receive parental allowances. So in German, we call this Elterngate and Elternzeit. If you want to learn more about this, then do take a look at this video up here.